Welcome back. Indiana State football has lost two offensive assets in the same amount of weeks and is now facing the challenge of filling those gaps and finishing the season strong. In this week's Off the Gridiron, we take a look at the Sycamore Brotherhood that stands tall in the face of these adversities. A brotherhood can mean a lot of things, but at Indiana State, it means unity in good times and in bad. And Coach Malley does a great job emphasizing this is a brotherhood, and it truly is. You know, when one's hurting, we're all hurting. The Sycamore Brotherhood is no stranger to losses, but the recent news of career-ending injuries for running backs Christian Covington and Jaquan Keyes has called for a special kind of support. We're going to go through ups and downs, but the best way to get through is with family, and this, that's what we've been doing. The missing pieces of Keyes and Covington will be felt on the offense, but the positive mindset the two have found in these tough times is something felt far beyond the gridiron. Very, very proud of these two young men and how they represent the program. I uh, represent in a first-class manner. First-class manner exemplified in the way the teammates talk about each other, sharing the pain of Covington's injury that will keep him from ever playing football again. I was hurt because I knew the kid had a lot of potential and he, he came in this summer and uh, kind of pushed me to uh, up my game. Cause you can see it in his eyes that he cares about this team and he cares about the sport and he grew to love the sport. And it's very heartbreaking to see someone so young, you know, coming in 18 years old, you know, losing his career already. It's very heartbreaking for everyone. And First Class Manor exemplified in the way Covington speaks of his brothers. The trees that stand tall around him and Keys in their time of need. I love this team. It's, it's just a bunch, a, a group of uh, a bunch of good guys. And when you put so much time in with uh, with people, you just kind of mesh with them. And uh, these are the guys I like to be around. So I believe it's, it's a reason for staying and seeing where they end up, and just being here to support them because they were there to support me. And although Key's injury will mean the end of his career at ISU, when asked today if he would ever be able to return to the football field, he paused, looked at his crutches, and said, I've got to use those for four weeks, and then we shall see.